Hello everyone, welcome to another video of creating 2D autographic projection drawing using Autodesk AutoCAD for figure 3 question 1a. So let's turn to page 3-8 of your notes and let's take a look at your question for today. So here for tutorial 3, you have this question that you have to create the autographic projection drawing in third angle projection with an actual scale of 1 is to 1. So this is your diagram and you have a front view that starts from A. Okay, So to help with your visual visualization, I've created a 3D model for your reference. So this is, will be your front view. Now we have another end view from B, which is coming from the right side of your front view. So let's rotate our 3D model. And this is what will you be getting for your right side. And lastly, we need to create a plan view right from the top. So this is your plan view that we will need to create in AutoCAD. Now let's head over to our AutoCAD 2020. So as a good start, it's always best that we visualize where and how are we going to draw in our drawing template. So we have the front view. Again, we have the right end view. And lastly, we have the plan view, which is placed right at the top of your front view. So this will give you a general uh, estimation as to where your drawing is supposed to be. So to begin with, I will be drawing from the front view for this question because it has the most detail that we can come about. And then followed by the right end view. And from there, I will come up with a 45 degree line to create the last plan view. All right, let's remove this so that we can begin. As a start, let's take a look here. If we are looking from the front view, we will have to create this semicircle with a half the hexagon. And the value for this semicircle has a radius of 35. And the half hexagon is 70 across corner. All right. So I will begin with a drawing of a circle. So let's go to a circle. Let's change the layer to outline. And let's just draw somewhere at the bottom here. So circle, outline, with a radius of 35. Enter. Now let's start with our polygon. Under the rectangle tool here, expand it further and you can see a polygon tool. Click on it and always read the command prompt. Enter the number of sides. For a hexagon, we have six sided. Now the center of this polygon will be placed right in the center of the R35 circle. So let's click here. For across corner, we will select inscribe. And now let's orientate your polygon correctly. We can either click to this circle itself because it's 70 AC. So for the radius of the circle is actually 70 divided by two. So it is 35 or you can just key in 35. All right, we somehow have the general shape. However, we will need a half semicircle at the top and half a hexagon at the bottom, as shown from your drawing here. Let's draw a line from here, and we will cut across. Okay, this line will act as a cutting tool for us to trim later on. Press escape to end your command. Now go to trim. Select this line as your cutting tool. We will remove the top portion of the hexagon and the bottom portion of the circle. 
and we'll come about this uh, like cupcake shape. Press escape to end the tool. Now, let's draw this hole of R12.5 and this hole is actually through all the whole piece. Go to circle. Again, wiggle the larger circle here, the R35, to gather the center of it. Once you have gathered it, left click on it, drag it out and type in 12.5. Now, in your drawing, there isn't any lines here, okay? And then if you look further back into the model, there's also no lines here. So, we will have to trim this center segment here. So, go to trim. But for this case, I will not be selecting any cutting tool because it's a quite simple uh, trimming uh, job. So just space bar once more to select all and select the center line. Press escape to end the tool. We will now create this top surface here. Okay, the small flat cutout. The small flat cutout is 5mm from the tip of the circle and then it just goes horizontally. Now click on line, it will begin right from this top here, but however we cannot capture the, the, the location there. So press the shift key, hold on to it, right click and select quadrant. With this, I can select the topmost of this uh, circular arc, drag it down and enter 5mm. I will now just draw it horizontally first until it touches the R35 arc. Left click once more. Now you can press escape. Click on this vertical line. We can delete it now since we are using it for construction method only. Left click on this line to select it. And we will lengthen it by dragging this endpoint. Alright. So we have completed our front view. What's left is drawing your center line. So click on line. Under layers, change it to center line. Now we can wiggle, find the center, and we can do the tracing method. Slowly drag it down. And then drag it all the way up. Press escape. Left click on the line to select it. Select this top endpoint. Let's bring it up by 5mm. And repeat the same for the bottom endpoint here. And extend it by 5mm. We will do the same for the horizontal line. So, line. Let's click from this endpoint to the other endpoint. And then let's extend it slightly. 5, 5. And we have completed your front view with all the center mark and center line. Now, let's start with our right hand view now, the right hand view. So let allow me to rotate this 3D model. Okay, this is how are we supposed to look like. We will now first start with this L shape design, okay, inverted L shape. And then I will perform this cutout. And of course, from this diagram here, we can't really see. But I have hidden lines here to actually represent the R12.5 holes. All right. So to do the right end view here, we will need some construction line to allow us to help with the constructing of the right end view. So go to line, under layers, select construction line. Okay, we will now first perform a little bit of tracing method. Okay, so once these two edges has been 
uh, intersect we will left click and we will do the tracing method again to extend it until here once we have done this we will draw a 45 degree line okay uh, this 45 degree line will be in the direction of your right end view and your plan and your, your plan view so it must always be like reference to these two views so for the length it's not really critical here we just enter 110 you can press the tab key now and enter there 45 enter this will actually give this line with a dimension of 45 degree here now let's offset this by 20 mm to have a very nice uh, gap between the views so let's click on this offset tool the distance will be 20 enter select this edge and move it to the right okay and you left click again to apply the distance from the question you can see that there's two steps here the first step from the beginning here is 25 and then followed by 30 mm okay so here to here 25 and here to here it's 30 so i will use the offset tool again to offset this line by 25 and then repeat again with a offset value of 30 mm so let's do it offset 25 use this line move it to the right and left click again repeat again select the offset tool but this time change the value distance to be 30 mm and move it to the right and left click once more so this area will be our right end view I will now extend the horizontal line so it's much more clearer for everyone so click on line make sure your layer type is construction line from this end I'll move all the way to this right side spacebar to end it spacebar to repeat the last tool from here all the way till the here so as you can see here this area here will be our right end view okay so this gives you a boundary and as an estimation we should not exceed this boundary further okay uh, when you draw a certain line that is extended outside of this uh, boundary you know that uh, you have drawn it incorrectly so you just have to check again and make sure that everything is correct okay so let's start i will draw this l shape first Go to line, change it to outline layer. I'll begin from this corner here, the top right hand corner. I'll go down, use the boundary that I have just drawn as reference from here to here. Yes, I'll use a tracing method this time from here to here. Left click, I'll move to the center line here. Left click once more, bring it up, and then close it. If you notice, I'm missing this line here. Okay, so we need to add it in your drawing. Here, yeah, missing. So just left click on this line. I will then extend it further. All right. Now I will create this flat here. So take note this flat. Okay. Once we just draw the shape, we have to trim the lines here and here. So click on line. We we'll use the tracing method again. From this corner, do not left click. Just hold for a few milliseconds and drag it to the right. Okay, left click here. I'll move it horizontally to the right and key in 15 as shown in the dimensions given 
enter and then let me scroll it up slowly and move it up vertical and left click once more now i just need to trim this line and this line so go to trim i will select all and i'll just delete it manually lastly let's finish this hole the r12.5 if you can see it from the right side is all blocked okay the hole occurs right in the middle of the piece so we can't see it but that doesn't mean that hole isn't there so we need to change our line type to hidden line so go to lines under this layer change to hidden line and again using the tracing method once you reach to the right end view the starting point left click drag all the way spacebar to end it spacebar once more to repeat the line command and do the tracing method again and we end it here spacebar or you can press the escape to end the line too lastly what's left is just the center line so click on line layer type change it to center line from here till here escape make sure you select the correct lines extend it by 5 mm both sides and you can escape so we have completed our right end view now this 45 degree line will actually assist us to draw our plan view so allow me to extend this line the construction line upwards okay i will draw one more line from here all the way up here so any vertical lines that meet this 45 degree line will actually yeah turn 90 degrees all right so from here it will turn 90 degrees what i like to do is actually using the tracing method okay if possible i will just end it just nice to the end point or the extremities of the front view so with this it really simplify my workflow very quickly spacebar to end it spacebar once more to repeat your last command from here left click repeat the same we we'll do the tracing method and yeah left click once more I will now bring it down so that it touches the front view. Okay, from here I will also extend this line upwards, and with that I can actually see the boundary here for my plan view. It should occur only in this area here. Now we are going to draw our plan view, the last view. Let me show you in 3D or how it's supposed to look like okay so it's quite simple we just have a full rectangle okay because from the top view even though it's circular from the front on the top is still a cylindrical shape it will look like a rectangular piece okay so to to do that go to line change it to outline and we will just trace it up one two three four next because of this l shape here i will be extending this line further okay let me change the line uh, color so it's easier to yeah reference line again changes to construction line and from here i will just drag it horizontally since it meets the 45 degree line okay uh, i will do match property uh, to make sure that you can see and visualize it quickly okay so to do match property ma spacebar and click the source and click the lines that you want to copy the properties to uh, you don't need to do this step uh, it's just for easy visualization when you are trying it out okay so that you can differentiate the extremities which is darker blue and then this center segment here that is represented by this lighter purple color so go to line 
under outline from here all the way across okay quite simple next let's do this portion here okay so again from this point here i will trace it up until it touches the 45 degree line and then it goes 90 degrees across okay so line change into construction line and then for our colors okay just for visualization purposes you don't need to do it i'll change it into green and then here to here and then all the way across okay for this case if you notice i did not stop right at the beginning as as uh, opposed to this fella okay i will move all the way to the end the reason is because our flat segment here happens somewhere here okay so i will just draw it until the end spacebar to end it spacebar once more to repeat the construction line drawing now from this point i will draw vertically up and repeat again from here vertically up to here so now i can draw a flat piece here so go to line under outline okay make sure my color now changes to by layer if you are changing the color left click here and we end it here all right so we have come about yeah this flat piece here now i will be drawing the hidden hole okay the r12.5 but it's all hidden on this segment here the top half and the bottom half is shown in solid outline so first step line make sure your layer is correct your color is also by layer again just use the tracing method okay here until this part left click space bar to end it space bar once more to repeat the last two which is the drawing of lines using the tracing method again trace from this here all the way up once you arrive here left click once more and then left click again all right now I will draw another line here and I will draw another line on the other side and these two lines I will actually change into hidden line so you can either select these two lines and change it to hidden line or I can use the mesh property command so MA space bar select this source uh, line and then highlight the lines that I want to convert okay so we have somewhat a little bit more of step to completing all this okay now we have a hole here usually when you have a hole you need to draw a center line so go to line make sure you change it to center line okay I will use tracing method from here left click until this end point escape left click to select the line and I will extend both extremities by 5 mm okay uh, somehow if you come about like this uh, you notice that it's somewhat there okay but don't be too quick to celebrate it yet okay there's always time for you to check so for my case actually there are two things that I have missed out especially in this case here so this half a hexagon here yes from the plan view we can't see it but that doesn't mean this edge here this corner here has disappeared it's just being hidden away okay that so that you need to represent it in a hidden line so click on line change the layer to hidden line and let's do tracing method bring it up once you arrive there left click drag it up all the way through and you can do the same you can repeat the same by tracing or i will just use the mirror tool so go to mirror select the object that you want to mirror left click spacebar to select it now the first mirror point will be here and we will end it here 
do we want to erase the source file no and we have completed the whole drawing now okay so if you see here your drawing is all inside however uh, it's a little bit off so let's just highlight it okay he's a little bit to the left side so just highlight the whole piece click on move select any base point and move it somewhat in the middle just estimate okay to make it look good once you are done we can click on this layer type hide our construction by clicking on this uh, light bulb and yeah you are done okay so happy trying